Hello YouTube. I wanted to show you today my custom made PCBs for SMD parts to put on your table. Um, let me just quickly show you the boards itself here. I have four different ones. Those all look the same from the front. They are different from the back in that they have different width of white strips for if your parts are black so you have a better contrast. So I will show you in detail more in a second. Let's show you what I have here. Uh, this is at the moment just a cardboard. It will be eventually MDF. And then I will have, of course, you can place your boards any way you like. If you have a camera down here, just leave two here and leave room for your PCB here, for example. I mean, you can do it and place it the way you like. Um, you can screw them down if you need a permanent uh, fixation or you will have the option to do it with magnets and uh, just place small magnets into the board itself on the MDF for example. What I will have is I will have the spools in the back and they will be fed underneath the profile here. And I'm not on having uh, automatic feed, I just put them here and if they're empty here I just pull them in the front and go from there. So these are the boards, they are <coughs> excuse me, 100 by 100 millimeters, which is a standard on PCB manufacturer. And uh, of course actually it's 120 by 160 but this seems to be the size uh, used most. And like I said, you can place them any way you like. And now I will stop the video. And I had this uh, profile that I used on a different project. And I will use this and mount it on the bottom so I can just push my PCB against it. And have it fixated also. But then I will have a, a certain mm, data to push against and then I can use that in the PNP software. So that was it in the general. Now I stop the video and move to my table. Okay, I'm back at my desk and uh, this is what you saw before with the different strips attached. So the first version is for 8 millimeter wide strips uh, on which you have uh, SMTs and uh, caps. These are in my case uh, 0805 parts and uh, you just push them in from the back and uh, the machine can pick it up. They are spaced 4 millimeters apart. You also have to have it for a perfect alignment you have the alignment holes here on the bottom sometimes it's uh, higher sometimes it's lower it depends on the board um, on the layout so you can just push your strip in and then align it here and then you have it uh, perfectly at the same place every time those are 1.5 millimeter holes. This is just a 1.5 millimeter drill bit. I did order some pins and I will supply the pins with it. So you can have, you can even leave them in there if you want. So you know it's not gonna go anywhere. You can also tighten the screws down further so it won't move by itself. And uh, you can see those are just screws. Those are M3, three millimeter screws. And uh, on the corners you have four holes for M2 to screw them down. Uh, you can have it with spacers because sometimes the screws stick out from the bottom, obviously, depending on the height of the part. So this way you have enough clearance and it's also a set height that you will have 
the parts all at the same height even if they are different height <laughs> height <laughs> anyway oh my uh, favorite word somebody complained about that he also only understands anyway that I say too often sorry about that I will try to better myself so these are eight millimeters the holes on all the boards are the same sorry if you hear any background noise my wife is yelling at the dog uh, all the holes on the PCBs are the same same distance same space only the white stripes in the back are different width so this is uh, the basic for 8 millimeter stripes of course you can mix and match them also uh, here for example I have my caps and you can also what I did is here put the value on the stripe itself I was thinking of making a white space here so you can write it but you could actually use a white marker and just write on the bottom of the strip here what value you have so your machine knows it it's just for you if you're feeding new stuff in there and want to remember what you had you can always of course read the value from the SMD if you like so this is a 8 millimeter clear strip and this is a 12 millimeter wide strip for capacitors which I raised with the spacers so you don't you're not uh, bound to have it laying on the PCB you can have it on the bottom and then hold it in the top from the top so this works also and then here is the 12 millimeter version those are like you said the black on the other side and these are like my LDOs, uh, NeoPixels, I just did them for this video, it will be different on the PNP itself and of course not uh, all the same in one stripe or you can even have it like this, these are diodes and these are my crystals that I use so this is it um, if you, uh, I said magnetic, if you want to have this magnetic you can just have a screw in here and then have the magnet on the bottom I have like these small 3 millimeter magnets for example you could just drill your bottom layer if it's MDF or whatever and glue these in and then you can just put the PCB the tray holder on there and it will hold it will not go anywhere these are very strong magnets you can of course uh, use bigger ones you could even use five millimeter or whatever you like four millimeters and uh, just saw that uh, anyhow I did it again um, so these are my PCBs for SMD trays so SMD trays made out of PCBs and uh, you can also since I'm working also for my table you can quite easily stack them like that and have a space saving design so this is it if you have any questions please let me know oh hold on hold on I wait a minute I forgot of course I have this one also and these are for your chips in different sizes and uh, this is my tray for example for 328 of course you can use also a tray like this on your PNP which I might do as well I don't know yet and this is a tray which you can again screw down and these are holes are pretty tight tolerance and they are for I wrote it down uh, SSOP 8, 14, 16, 24 TQFP which are the Atmega chips 32, 64, uh, 48 and 64 so those are the holes if anybody wants uh, different sizes or, or something like that and if they order minimum set of 10 of the PCBs then I can make it a custom size also or custom shape or whatever you like it will of course take a little longer 
to have that manufactured and so this is the tray part for loose parts or if you don't have a vibrating uh, feeder which are also used with the chips and uh, this is it I guess I'm sure I'm forgetting something um, let me just take a sip of my coffee oh by the way if you want to support my work or just like it or whatever you can uh, send me a small tip in my PayPal the address is in the link and if you want to support it thank you very much in advance any amount is welcome it will all go back into my work here and I have some other nice uh, items coming up one of them is a standalone at mega bootloader burner so that's a project I'm looking for to finish it's already done actually the PCBs are almost done they will be sent out and I should have them uh, beginning of next week since today is Wednesday already so these are my PCBs for the SMD tray PCBs I did use some uh, 3d printed ones before but that is just uh, more work for me to do and uh, with the different colors and whatnot I used also holders like these uh, which are also nice you can just peel off the tape or on these you can also just peel off the tape as you go just pick it up and peel it you could make it automated also if you want to go through all the trouble which I think is unnecessary unless you have a large production order then you have of course a, a better PNP with everything set up already and won't need these so I used these before also but then again uh, you need uh, the head to pull this forward or any f other feeder at the end which wouldn't go and uh, to pick it up I'm thinking of this is a faster option because the head can just move to the next part and pick it up instead of coming here pulling it forward and then going back up and down again so I think it will work for me better this way uh, as I said if you have any questions uh, leave them down in the comments I will answer them I will put these up on Tindy also of course as I have more than I need and if you have any custom orders or think uh, of anything other to make uh, send me a message and I will try to accommodate you anyhow or anyway whichever I say the most uh, thanks for watching and take care everybody